coming to you from San Marcos, Texas, for a big Sunbelt Conference Series between South Alabama and the host Texas State Bobcats. Both teams riddled injuries this season. However, both are playing better as of late. The Bobcats have won three of five. The Jaguars five out of their past six week games this year. Swing and a miss. Speaks volumes about the emotions of the team. Wild hits that one towards center. That's going to bloop in for a base hit over the head of Bell. Drops in front of Will Turner. And Cameron Wild is on with one out here in the first. And a good work for Cam Bush. In the air, left field, Pena going back, and that's going to be caught in a diving catch by Dalen Pena. Oh, my goodness. Had double written all over it, and Dalen Pena makes an incredible play. Win the ball that way. Brent away from him. That ball's hit good enough. Does a good job of getting behind this ball, and to watch him all lay out, completely lay out, and make a great catch and not get hurt. Runner goes, here's a throw, it's high in the center field. Easy solo base in regular season series. One, two, and that's to right field with a base hit for Powell. Manning around third. Here's a throw to the plate. It's not in time. And the Bobcats are on top. One nothing courtesy of Davis Powell. Another 2-2 two -two from Bush. Backdoor pitch. Got him looking on the inner half. Defense. Here he is with a ball hit towards left center. That's going to get down a base hit. Got behind Turner. Farber on his way to second base with a leadoff double. Play good. Chance to go in there and win. On the ground. And now you see Ken Hill awkwardly stubble on the mound trying to find that ball. Hopefully from Lynn. Moore hits one on the ground, a short, and there's only one play to be made. It's at first base. Moore drives home Lugo, and it's 2 nothing. We want this to get bigger and better. Farber smashes one up the middle and got by. Brennan Holt going to land into center field. He's on for the second time with the second hit. Ishmael is 0 for 2. The 2-2 two -two pitch on the ground. And a <laughs> barehand stab by Eaton. What a play! One, two, a swing and a miss. Foul tip strikeout secured by Galloway. Eden's interference. Backdoor breaking ball got him looking. Had a lot of foul tips since then, too. So, hey, Manning pushes a bunt down the third base side, and that's a fair ball. And he sends the ball a mile into the air here. And to left, and the Jaguars having troubles with it. Bell can't make the catch. Everybody is safe. Throw the ball in. Farber up the middle. That's the base hit. Manning scores right behind him to the plate. Chase Moore. Welcome back, Ryan Farber. 4 nothing. Coach is a tremendous high school coach. Wild pokes that to left field for a base hit. That'll lead to another run scoring. Powell around third to the plates. 5-0 Texas State. The college baseball. Lugo with a fly ball to left. Farber is going to tag at third. Let's see if he comes home. Catch made by Johnson. Farber is coming home, and he'll score easily. Sack fly, Aaron Lugo. And now four runs. 1-2. Swing and a miss. One out here in the ninth inning. 0-2. Oh, in the air to right field, Cade Manning towards the line, and he will make the catch. And the Bobcats take the opener tonight against South Alabama by a final of 6-3. to three. The player of the game, the returning Ryan Farber for the Bobcats. Big night tonight, three hits, including a double, drives it a pair, and what a return for Ryan Farber after missing the last 14 games. Well, it's going to make a difference in that lineup. It already did make a difference in the lineup and in the outcome of a game. And it's never always just one player, but one player, when you plug him in to somebody who was successful for you, gives you a little bit of momentum, your order starts to feel, and you start to create your order.